So I have this friend, not the dog, and he doesn't know if it's worth spending $30 to buy Skyrim Special Edition, even though he's got literally dozens of dollars. It's a highly rated game, so this is just my quick introductory video that I made for him. Um, so I'm not going to run through the beginning or anything, I'll leave a lot of that to surprise, but uh, just going to jump in and, and show you a couple things about it. So here we see Skyrim is a 3D action adventure RPG. My character is an orc. And this game can be played from the third person view or the first person view interchangeably whenever you'd like. Right now I'm in a, uh, a castle type, uh, type room here. Um, you pull out your weapons, you see them first person, you can run around third person, uh, you can jump around and take objects that are in the world and manipulate them. Super fun. And you can do that with all sorts of stuff. You can buy houses and you can decorate the rooms with various objects you find in the world, or you can throw them at people's face. It's terrific. Or steal items, as you can see. The menu button allows you to check your skills, magic, map, and items. If we go into the items here, we can see they are organized. I can have favorite items I can uh, pull out in the middle of battle if I want to. Uh, I can view all of my items here. You can see uh, just various things you can pick up around the world. Uh, there are categories for the weapons, the apparel, um, you can have potions, uh, different kinds of food which will also help heal you, ingredients to make the potions, um, and then keys and uh, obviously a catch-all miscellaneous so that uh, you find some buckets and brooms and various things around in the world. Um, you'll learn more, you'll discover more things. This is an early character, not a whole lot of interesting stuff going on. Here you see I was still ready for combat, but unequipped my weapon. Um, you can knock things over, it's very fun, steal those, why not? You can go around and, and talk to uh, various NPCs if you'd like. These ones are annoying, so I won't do that. You can steal things. Uh, there is an entire potion making mechanic, uh, it's called alchemy. You can find, I've counted at least, I think, 95 different ingredients that I've found. And it's really, it's fun. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, you can sell the potions for money. You can use the potions in combat and uh, do various things. Go invisible, increase your strength, you know. And there are a ton of other skills you can play with besides alchemy. This is just the one that I can show you right here. Figure out for yourself. This guy started talking to me. That happens sometimes. But he's boring, so we can uh, kind of go over and, and just skip him because I'm trying to show you a tutorial. And, Firengar is being annoying. That's just what he does. That's he's, he's awful. Now the console version is a little better than the PC because you can see me clearly click that bottom thing, but it shows the middle, the middle dialogue. We'll skip this. That sounds best. La la la. Boring beginner quest stuff. You know this is 800 times speed, but I can leave that and we're back. Uh, yeah, so I'm probably gonna steal that from him. Just gonna pick it up because it's not stealing yet. I'm gonna go somewhere where he can't see me steal it. There's some stupid kid. Trust me, he's stupid, you'll see. No one can see me in this corner. You can sneak, now you know you're hidden, and I stole the item. So, a lot of fun stuff you can do there with that. Um, yeah, look at that, stolen. So some shopkeeps actually won't take it, so you better only steal things you're gonna use. Now there's magic. Magic is the thing that actually got me to start playing the um, game Oblivion, which then got me into Skyrim, so we'll go ahead and, and leave this castle. The guards, very inactive, very fun guards. You'll learn to love them. This is Whiterun, one of the few cities you can uh, you can visit in the, in the whole thing, but um, here's a world map. Oh, first time I've looked at it. And you can go around. Skyrim's actually huge. There's, uh, let me just show you this. This is uh, an image I pulled from Google, kind of comparing the size of the uh, video game world maps. You can see Skyrim is uh, there in the corner. It's huge. Not as big as some of them, but like bigger than San Andreas. So that's something. Anyway, back to uh, White Run here. This is a place you're going to learn to love. Um, let's see if I can find something interesting to do. You can talk to the townspeople, jump around. It's, it's a good time, right? Uh, you'll find a, a billion fun things to do in here, but 
that's kind of the uh, the allure of the game. You can do whatever you want to do. If you want to pick flowers here, or if you want to go stab that guy over there, right? You can do anything. You're going to get in trouble for stabbing the guy, but as you can see, I've, I've grabbed those ingredients. I now have more lavender. It's great. It's potion, potion ingredients. You understand. Uh, I can lockpick homes, okay. I'm just, I'm watching back through this because I recorded it um, like a month ago for you, but I forgot really what I did. Uh, yeah, you can steal stuff from barrels. Kind of relearning, just watching over it. Um, the game is super glitchy, and the company that created it, Bethesda, never really put in the effort to fix all the bugs. Because we find them hilarious, and uh, and we enjoy that. We love the the bugs of the game. So let me just exit Skyrim here, <clears throat> and uh, or into Skyrim rather. Exit the uh, the city of White Run. Now I can walk around in this huge, gargantuan world. It's it's absurd how big the world really is. You think, oh, it's just a little bit bigger than San Andreas, but imagine walking from you know. Grove Street to the casino. It's it's gonna take you a while, right? So um, And there are ways to travel quickly and fast travel and, and you can you can buy um, You know horse rides and whatever but Right now I'm just on the outskirts of the town and I believe I was looking for trouble. Yeah Yeah, so we're gonna take a look at my armor. You can wear light armor heavy armor mage armor if you want um See, am I wearing? Yeah, yeah. And you can modify your armor too. You can learn your smithing skill and, and make your armor more uh, robust. I kind of look like I work at a coffee shop in Seattle. I love that. And there you can see me using the favorites to pull out my battle axe. Kind of pauses the game for you a second too to give you a minute to decide that. And I'm not very fast because I'm a heavy armor character, but archers and mages can really catch up to these guys pretty quick. So. I had no luck, pick some mushrooms, a lot of fun. And looks like here is where I engaged in some real combat, running headfirst into the wild as a low level character, and mud crabs. So you get attacked, you lose your health, it shows up. You use power attacks and your uh, little green stamina meter goes down and you can, uh, and you can loot your kill of delicious mud crab legs and cook those up if you want a lot of stuff you can do. Um, there's a quick save feature that lets you, uh, ooh, yeah, Nern Root. There's a quick save feature that will let you um, go ahead and make a decision if you want to attack a really high level character. But let's go over the magic. So, destruction magic. This isn't my mage character. So, uh, you can see there are several different, not only categories of magic that you can uh, learn, but you can also cast several different kinds of spells. Like in the destruction magic, you can cast flames or uh, lightning, which just, I loved it. And you can see that elk is having a bad day now. Couldn't catch him earlier because I was, uh, ooh, cinematic view. Couldn't catch him earlier because, you know, I, w I weighed like 700 pounds and I was carrying a, a battle axe, but now that I can shoot magic out of the palms of my hands, you know, and you see my mana down there at the bottom left that, uh, that's depleted, so better mages will be able to regenerate that more quickly. They'll be able to use more powerful spells than just simple flames and sparks. They can use uh, like a fireball or, uh, you know, uh, lightning, chain lightning and attack multiple enemies. These guys are your Imperial Soldiers. There are your two biggest groups, kind of like Democrats and Republicans. They are the Imperials and the Stormcloaks. Just one's the Empire and one's against the Empire. Here I am fast traveling. So I have unlocked this place so I can just run on over here from the middle of nowhere if I want. As long as I'm not in combat, there is smithing you can do. Uh, as I said, you just go here to uh, an anvil somewhere. You can pick the you know, the class of, or the material, rather, and just make some stuff, if, as long as you've got the ingredients, which it'll show you what you need. It's a lot of fun. You can level that up, make more powerful stuff throughout the game, and you can do that with uh, a couple other different kinds of skills as well. You can, uh, as you level a skill, you do better stuff with it, you understand. Um, grindstone, so you can, like I said, improve the uh, damage that your weapons do, or you can use that table there, do the same with your armor. 
but here uh, you can talk to one of the locals and go to their shop. You can buy stuff if you want to do that. You can also sell things. If you've got three iron daggers, for instance, you can go ahead and just sell those away. And now you got some more money. They have a limited amount of money, so take some marketing know-how and all that. Uh, pretty much of the game, as I have said, is super open world. And you can do anything you want to do. If you want to go and engage in combat, if you want to talk to the locals and build up your speech skill, uh, if you want to do the story missions, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. The I'm going to go get a better view of that for you. This, uh, this vast world upon which you can travel. You can walk there. You can uh, get a horse and travel a little more quickly. Once you discover a place, you can fast travel there and explore that region. It's, it's seemingly endless. I've played this game, as I said, for endless hours, and I still there's still stuff I'm discovering. There's still extra places you can go, just new maps you can load and that kind of thing. Looks like here I was, uh, I don't know, looking at his butt or something. At pretty much any point, you can uh, save the game and leave, or uh, you know, save before you do something where you might get killed and have to restart a large segment, but... Uh, and that's not even 1% of what you can do. So that is just, you know, a little bit about Skyrim. And from here, I'm just gonna leave and let you uh, figure out the rest of the game yourself. Good luck.